The duel with the Ashen Lord Voyage is a world event that could spawn at seven of the large islands, where you're tasked to take down one of the Ashen Lords. Coming into the event, you should make sure you're well supplied with food as well as the right weapons so that you can complete this event in the most efficient way possible. It's okay though if you don't have food because all the barrels around the event get filled with the best fruit options like pomegranates, mangoes, and pineapples. The weapon you definitely do want to have though is the throwing knife. So for this strat I did, I actually ended up accidentally getting the world record as a solo player with a completely new yet very simple method. So as you can see in the top right corner, I do have a timer so you can see just exactly how fast this went. So what I did was just set up on top of this rock and spam the Ashen Lord with throwing knives. And I'm basically standing directly on top of the ammo box so that I could just constantly keep throwing at him. As you can see, because of the damage output, the rounds are going very fast, and he just keeps spawning more and more skeletons. Luckily, the rock I'm on is not reachable by the skeletons, and the skeletons with the shotguns have a tough time hitting me. The throwing knife is particularly good here because it doesn't have the reloading like any of the other guns, so it makes for a perfect, consistent, and high damage weapon. This run is nowhere near the polished speedrunning speeds, so you can definitely throw and grab the knives much faster than I did. When I was playing, I didn't even think I was anywhere near the record for beating this, so I wasn't really in the speedrunning mindset. The run does have some good moments though, as you saw I got pushed against the rock instead of being launched when he did his explosion attack, and I do think I hit almost all my throws at Captain Grimm. There may have been a no reg or two, as it didn't show a hit marker for two of the throws, but I'm just going to assume that they did hit. Other than that, I think you can get fewer shotgun skeletons, or none at all, which can save you some time from eating food or even grabbing more food from other barrels. There was however one bad moment where I did get knocked off the side by his explosion attack, and then I missed a throw, and then a second throw went to a skeleton. But then right after that I was able to finish him off just before he started his third phase of dropping meteors from the sky. So this 1 minute 33 seconds time is just under or about the same as the current world record for the raid voyage that is relatively new. I'm not going to be submitting this so it doesn't really matter, but I guess this can be a new strat for the Ashen Winds event. Now for the other 6 islands, you should still be able to complete the event in around 2 or so minutes. They don't have the good rock spot that I was in, but it should be about the same. Just instead of standing still like I was, you can circle around avoiding the skeletons, but also staying near the ammo box that is on every single one of these islands. Not only that, but since you're moving you can also grab the ammo pouches that are dropped by the skeletons. Then once you're done, of course grab your loot, move it to the side, and then do as you so please. Anyway, that is about it for the video. If you're a cool person, you'll subscribe and like this video right now, and thank you so much for watching.